Still talking about angle properties, yeah, we've spoken about um, degrees in a full turn, we spoke about degrees on straight line, vertically opposite angles, and now it's time to look at parallel lines and some angle properties there, yeah, and you're going to find all my resources on my site explainingmaths.com, yeah, so please have a look there uh, if you want to prepare yourself for your maths exams. Okay, parallel lines. Um, you need to be familiar with the language alternate angles and corresponding angles. So I'm going to show you what alternate and corresponding angles are. If I draw two parallel lines, yeah, and parallel lines are lines with the same gradient, yeah, with the same steepness. There are lines that will never intersect, okay, with each other. Yeah, there you go. These are two parallel lines, and then you usually see this little sign, two of those arrows, yeah, or one at each, which means this is one pair of parallel lines, yeah with one arrow is parallel to the other line with one arrow. Okay, so parallel lines. Now, with parallel lines, I'm gonna do that in green. We need one line intersecting the pair of parallel lines. So, this line for instance, yeah? And now we can look at what we call alternate angles and corresponding angles. Now, what is the alternate angle? Um, let's say this angle over here, I'm gonna do that in red by the way. Let's say this angle is what is it? It's, it's acute, so what should we do? 70 degrees? Yeah, 70 degrees, okay. Now, you have already learned vertically opposite angles, yeah? so I can already say now that this one is also 70 degrees, yeah? Two lines intersecting, vertically opposite angles are the same, yeah? Angles on the straight line, 180, so this one is 180 minus 70, which is 110, and again, vertically opposite angles, that one is gonna be 110, yeah? So that is stuff you already know, okay. But now, the vertically, uh, not the vertically opposite, but now with the parallel lines. If you go on one of the parallel lines, you trace it, okay, and then you go down with the line that is intersecting the two parallel lines, and then again I continue on a parallel line. What kind of a letter did I just trace? Do you see that? What kind of a letter did I trace? I traced the Z in D, the Z angle we call that, the Z angle, and then those two angles created by those lines, so this one and that one, are equal, yeah, so this one is also 70 degrees, okay, so a Z angle, yeah, are equal, but Z angle is not the official term for it, yeah? that's more, let's say, um, oral language, if you write about it, we talk about alternate angles, okay, alternate angles, or Z angles, yeah, but we, we, we write about the official language is alternate angles, yeah, so please be familiar with, with those terms, alternate angles, yeah, and as you notice, yeah, these two add up to 180, yeah, because you could technically, yeah, if I would create a, some sort of parallelogram, yeah, so another pair of parallel lines, I'm just gonna do that with a dotted line, Ooh. and as you know, with a parallelogram, indeed, the opposite angles are equal, yeah, but these two angles add up to 180 degrees, okay? So you can see that the alternate angle, indeed, it's true, because that one needs to be 70 degrees then as well, yeah, because of that property of the parallelogram. Vertically opposite angles, 70 degrees, 110, 110. And then you see, because that is even vertically opposite angles, that these two are also the same, yeah? And look now, I'll do that in black, at the letter I'm tracing now. Oop. So which letter am I tracing now? If I take the cutting line, let's call it a cutting line, a parallel line and a parallel line. Which letter did I just trace? Did you see that? I trace the F indeed. So we call that also an F angle. Okay, so I'll write that here, that the F angle or F angles are also equal. Okay, but we don't really write about F angles, not the official language. We call those corresponding angles, okay? So, corresponding angles. And you need to be familiar with those words. Yeah, because on exams they will ask you, yeah, why are they equal? And then you gotta say, well, they're equal because they're corresponding angles. Yeah, so F angles. This one, yeah, if I have a parallel line, a straight line cutting the other parallel line as well then these are F angles, they are equal. But you actually already saw that 
because of the properties of vertically opposite angles. Okay, so alternate angles, Z angles, and F angles, yeah, which we call corresponding angles. Okay, so um, that was that parallel lines and their properties, alternate angles, corresponding angles, very important. Um, like and share this video if it was useful. Check my site, explainingmaths.com, for everything you need to know uh, about understanding your maths a little bit better. I'll see you later. Bye bye.